Well, yesterday was a pretty awesome day. We drove to Pennsylvania to see my family and to add to the family. That's right, yesterday I performed a wedding. And because I had such an awesome group of friends on Clapper, we found out that the family of the bride was going to join us on Zoom, but because they're in Bolivia, they only speak Spanish, uh, we needed someone to translate my words because I don't speak more than like four words of Spanish. So I reached out to one of my friends that I met over on the Clapper app. I asked her if I sent her the script, would she transcribe it and also come into a radio on Clapper, a social audio room, and would she please translate my words for the family who's listening on Zoom? I called her at like five minutes before we were supposed to start the wedding. I sent her the script. She changed it up for her language and she was ready to go in like five minutes. I popped the radio. I let it open to the public so people could sit in and see exactly how our community works together. Because right now on TikTok, there's a big thing going on and everyone's leaving and coming over to my app. My app. It's not my app, but it's my, my home app, if you will. Um, and I want new people to see that it's not so bad to come into a new home and try to find your place. The family was ecstatic. They loved the fact that I was able to find someone so that they could understand what was going on. Um, they also loved my words. I, I spoke pretty well. We had a couple of uh, audio issues. Uh, you know, children, first of all, they just, they don't care. They're loud. So I was able to talk over that and ignore the little kids that were playing in the background because it was, in fact, an outdoor wedding. And for them, they were just hanging out. Um, but then the church behind us, the bells started going off while I was talking. So I had to speak louder again. Uh, and then once the church bell stopped, the fire alarm had a, or the fire bell went off. The, the, the fire department has a loud ass siren that just started going. It was probably like a, a block from us. And now I am pretty much shouting my ceremony at the top of my lungs. Um, I, I heard some laughter while I was going, but everyone was super impressed that I did not let it break my stride and not say, hey, let's start this over. Uh, and, and we even had a couple, um, non-dry eyes made a couple of people cry so i'd say that it was good ceremony um i gave the bride and groom exactly what they wanted very limited speaking uh i gave the family what they wanted the participation and also um you know, a brief non-religious ceremony it was a good day plus i got to see family that i haven't seen in a while my cousin melissa came all the way up from florida I got to see her daughter for the first time. Meeting members of my family that I knew existed, but they didn't know I existed yet. It was really awesome. And she really took to Mrs. Dubs. They played so much. Considering Rachel couldn't move around, uh, she was able to keep her occupied. And uh, I was able to walk around and mingle with my family and get stuck in corners because we were in a, a little bit of a cramped space. There was a lot of people that showed up for this wedding. But now we're back home and I'm getting ready to start working again. I have some requests for Bolt to go rollerblading and a couple other small things. So I sanded off canvas ready. And now let's get it on. <laughs> 